Hi guys and welcome back. Today we're going to be looking at Civil 3D drawing settings and uh, where do we find them and how do we change them? Let's get to it. Alright, so um, with just your AutoCAD open here, just even a blank screen, we can really start to mess with this stuff. Um, but you're going to want to do this in your template or any other drawing that you're going to kind of reuse and restart with over and over again. Um, so. First things first, we need to get to the settings tab over here, which is over on the tool space. You'll see it right here. Now, if that settings tab is missing for some odd reason, maybe you were messing around and maybe might have accidentally unchecked this little box over here, you can click that and it'll put it right back to where it is. This is one of the number one problems we have sometimes at the office. So let's uh, click on kind of highlight drawing one here, and I'm going to right click on it, and let's go to edit drawing settings. So when we edit drawing settings and we open this up, this is where we start to see um, a lot of the internal workings of the Civil 3D uh, specific drawing settings right here. So first things first, you'll see the drawing units is already set to feet. Good, looks good. Um, international foot, um, you're probably going to want to switch that to U.S. survey feet. Um, I would uh, consult with how your uh, surveying department is bringing in their data, but most people would want that to be U.S. survey feet. Um, now the scale of the drawing really doesn't matter too much here. Um, I usually say, okay, I default de facto, I go with 40 scale depending on the size of the drawings. Um, but nowadays, most people want 20 scale drawings, so I'm gonna set that to 20 scale just to change it. Um, but that really just controls the custom scale of the drawing. Again, they can all be changed using this bottom tool thing over here. It really makes no difference. So um, looking here under categories, you'll see no datum or no projection. Now you don't need to set this, um, but it's kind of nice to have this set up already. Um, so depending on where you work, um, any many of these different countries here. Um, but uh, so I'm gonna set it to my typical area here, which is in Illinois. Um, and I like to use NAD 83 East uh, US foot. So uh, let's look for it right here. So we have uh, NAD 83 uh, East US foot right there. Um, so that's the majority of the work I do is right in there. You don't have to have this set up, it really makes no difference, but if you're gonna be bringing in aerial photos, this is gonna be key, because the first thing that's gonna ask you is to set up this geolocation, and you have it set up already if it's in a template. Of course, again, your drawings will vary and your project area locations will vary, so you may need to change this. Um, other than that, this is pretty much all standard stuff right here. Um, angular units, degrees, if you wanna work in grads, radians, be my guest, but honestly, this is pretty standard setup. Um, transformation. So this is where if you wanted to transform your datum to one thing or the other, and you can correct me if I'm wrong in the comments below, I've never really used this, but as far as it was explained to me, this is if I wanted to go from lat long to US foot, um, or nat 83, I should say. So I'm gonna flip on over to object layers right here. Now, these are the default object layers or the overall object layers of each one of these. This is kind of the number one missed thing in styles or templates. Um, sometimes I just set these all to zero and let them be. Um, but honestly, that's not the greatest practice. So if you notice alignments, the default layer or the main overall layer is going to be C road. And then we have C road text, C road table. So this is where the layers for these objects are going to go. Now, abbreviations, it kind of gets a little bit more uh, kind of company-centric here because um, all your abbreviations may be different from company to company. Um, but for the most part, these are pretty standard. Um, so whenever it abbreviates something, if you don't like the way it abbreviates, you're going to find how to change that right here. Um, so this is where you would go to change any of these things, such as beginning point, end point, stuff of that nature, stations, and whatnot. So just note, it's all right there. Um, so you can go through and change any of these guys here. There's a lot of stuff in here. Um, honestly, I don't really change these too much in here. I kind of leave them the way they are. Um, they've always worked for me. So Now, ambient settings, however, I do change a lot of things in here. I'm not going to go over every setting, but just note this is where you find different objects, defaults here. Um, save, cha save command changes to settings. Um, show event viewer. Show tooltips. If you don't like those annoying tooltips, hey, you can turn them off right here. Um, you know, degrees of curvature, what is the, you know, unit cord length, the arc cord length, arc cord length, uh, labeling such as that. Um, but where I like to go is I always mess around with these here, area, because sometimes I might want my areas to display in acreage instead of square feet. And then I will switch that right here so I can switch them to whatever I want. 
And depending on what part of the country you're in, you know, this could vary actually. Um, but for me, it's usually set to square foot. And then honestly, 43, 560, I can convert square foot right into acreage if I need to. Um, volume is another thing I sometimes change. If you notice, volume defaults to cubic yard. But if you want to go to cubic foot or cubic meter, you can. If one of them makes it easier to convert into another volume for you, be my guest. It only offers you these, ho. So, you know, yeah, I might have to take a little bit and mess around with it. I usually kind of just convert everything out of cubic yards if I need to. Um, but honestly, this is where you're going to find everything as far as slopes, how, what's the precision on the slopes, how is it calculating the slopes, is it rise over run or run over rise. Um, if any of these things mean anything to you, this is where you're going to find a lot of this type of stuff. So if you wanted to get pressure and you wanted to change the units to pascals or uh, megapascal or bar, you can. Most people leave it to PSI, but again, you can do it. Um, so note, a lot of the stuff you're going to find under here. Um, so just take a look under here. These are always good to change if you guys are setting your civil 3D templates. This should not be forgotten about. Um, I wouldn't go messing with the area and volumes. I think people just need to know that those things exist and how to change them and when they need to change them. Otherwise, you'll be fine. So again, this is Brandon. Make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. And again, if there's any other civil 3D related items you guys want to see, let me know. Um, I'm going to start pumping out uh, more civil 3D drawings, hopefully go through the entire gambit of creating from a commercial site all the way to the end and a residential site all the way to the end as I have both of those going on right now. So it'll be a perfect time to do some video tutorials and I'll see you guys in the next video.